How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here with another video to talk to you about Windows 11. I can feel the excitement in there. Everybody wants to update to the new OS Windows 11, especially when it is a new OS, when it can increase your performance of your PC. But I do gotta say, don't download it just yet. There are some current issues with Windows 11. So this may affect you if you are a gamer, a developer, or a content creator. Like everything that is brand new, especially when it comes to software, and especially OS's. It could be somewhat buggy, and some of these bugs may be major to you. It's very typical, but that's okay, that's all the normal part of the development process. So if you're part of the Windows Insider program, you may know which kind of bugs I may be talking about. But there is several I do want to mention to you guys if you may be aware or not aware. Fam Bam, I gotta let you know some of these bugs may slow down your PC and even affect its performance. So I'm just gonna get to the bugs straight away. And the first bug that I do want to mention, which could honestly be a problem for most users. So one of the very first bugs I gotta mention is if you open up Windows Explorer on Windows 11, it may cause a memory leak. Not may cause a memory leak, it will cause a memory leak. Even when you exit out of File Explorer. And you probably just wanna know why is this a problem? The problem is when you open up a program or if you open up File Explorer, it's gonna take up that space of RAM. And once you exit out of that very program or if you exit out of file explorer that temporary storage will remain on your ram and it will constantly build up so it will refuse to release the memory that is on your ram so if you constantly like to go into file explorer you're going to have that problem where it's just going to constantly build up that memory eventually you'll get to the point where it will be highly noticeable if you're a user of adobe or even Google Chrome. So I gotta say, so far, if you like what you're hearing, make sure you don't forget to give a thumbs up button down below, and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join the big wonderful fan band. But let me get straight to the second bug here. This one is a pretty important one, especially if you are a AMD Ryzen user. This could be a pretty bad problem for you guys. AMD had mentioned that their user base has been affected as much to three to 5% by Windows 11 in performance loss. And in rare occasions, they lost between 10 to 15% of performance loss. This issue is caused by L3 cache latency, which had turned that latency up to three times the usage. Most of the programs that get affected by this very problem are the ones that use subsystem access time. Because what it will do is cause a couple of your threads to take a blow at performance. This problem is more prevalent on desktop processors as most of the AMD processors, anyone that is over 65 watts of usage will be affected by Windows 11's performance. Even games used in esports such as CSGO, Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, Battlefield, Call of Duty, all those type of games could affect your gaming performance. And wait till you hear about this because there is more bugs that I have to share with you guys. There is also a bug if you use Intel's killer Wi-Fi software. What this will do is affect its UDP packets. It will affect the user datagram protocol. The very reason why this could be an issue is whether you're video streaming or if you're gaming, this could also cause a performance loss because the internet will move a lot slower. This problem also persists on Dell's SmartBite software. So this is one of the problems that will be addressed more than likely on October's 12th patch. Same with AMD's problem, it should be integrated in this very same update. I do gotta share with you another one, but before I do, I gotta talk to you about ExpressVPN. If you're not using a virtual private network, especially if you're banging or paying your bills online, or if you want to stream in a different country with Netflix, you could do all this with using a virtual private network. You don't have to worry about your memory getting stolen because it's all stored in a database where they use RAM for memory. So anything that you stream on, it will go straight to the RAM, which will automatically get wiped. It is one of the fastest VPNs out there in the market. 
and it is great to game on, make sure you check it out for free down in the description box down below. You can try it out for three months. I use it all the time. I love using ExpressVPN. But let me get straight to the next software bug I wanna share with you. So both Microsoft and Oracle found an issue with Windows 11 and using their virtual box. It is either Hyper-V or when Hypervisor is installed on the system, this will cause some issues with virtual box. So most people who do try to install virtual box will get this message. Your PC requires the latest version of this app. Click to learn more for more information on how to update this app. So Oracle is working on this very issue. They will have a new version of Oracle's VirtualBox released late this month. If you really need to use VirtualBox, one of the best tips I can give you, especially if you want to use Linux or anything like that, make sure to just turn off Hyper-V off of Windows 11. So I gotta say, Windows 11 is a excellent OS and these are some minor bugs that they do have. Now this memory leak is not anything new in fact windows 10 does even have it it's just more or less severe when you use file explorer on windows 10. if you open up so many different file explorers eventually you'll build up that memory but it might only build up the maybe 50 megabytes now if you do it in windows 11 it could build up to even one gigabyte it's pretty insane but with all os's Windows 11 is brand spanking new. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't download it to deter you from it, but if you're the kind of person just like me who wants a more perfected version of Windows 11 and have less issues, and just stick with Windows 10 for a little while longer because then you'll be happy that you waited for these bugs to be kinked out, especially if it's gonna mess up your workflow or even your leisure time when you are gaming. So fam bam guys, I hope you found this very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also share this very video if anyone is thinking about upgrading to Windows 11. And also make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button because if you wanna join the big one level fam bam where we love to talk about PCs and tech, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also, for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Bam Bam guys, did you update to Windows 11 and are you excited for it? Or did you skip out on Windows 11 and this is kind of the thing that you thought about in the first place? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.